Now, for those of you under the 18, this is not a Disney movie. Welcome back to downtown Tampa. Welcome back to Franklin Street. I've been warned tonight there is no rice, no squirt guns, or hot dogs allowed. This can only mean one thing. It's the midnight double feature picture show. Welcome back to the Tampa Theater for the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And Barry Boswick's here. Mr. Brad himself. Welcome back to Franklin Street, everyone. I am Tampa J, and welcome to the channel. Christina joins again, having Yay. a good time hanging out here tonight in downtown Tampa. We're about to see the Rockery. Rockery. We're about to see the Rocky <laughs> Horror Picture Show. I've seen it, you know, in the theater a couple times, but I've never really had that genuine Rocky Horror experience. How about you? I have many times in Memphis. In Memphis, that's yeah. because you're from Cincinnati, but you were raised in Memphis. Yep. Saw the Rocky Horror. Are we fog we're fogging up here? Yep. It's a, it's a yep, foggy night. So that being said, let's head on into the Tampa Theater. This is your first time here. Yeah, it's very pretty outside. I'm gonna give a little bit of history. I, I've been here before. I have several videos of the Tampa Theater, but not to the Rocky Horror, obviously. And so, if it's your first time here, I'm gonna give you a little history and rundown of the Tampa Theater as we enjoy this event. There's much ahead. Designed by architect John Everson and constructed in 1926, this is an original silent movie palace built for Paramount Pictures. People are already lining up. This is the fourth screening today of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's starting to rain. We better get across the street. And so we've taken refuge under the marquee on the Tampa Theater from the rain. We still have about 20 or 30 more minutes before we actually get let into the theater. 15. Maybe a little less early because it's raining. Yeah. First look. All right. I think we're already getting excited. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Welcome to the concession stand area. It did go through a renovation. But look how, oh yeah, the lights are beautiful. Look at the detail in the woodwork. It just got restored in late 2017. Is it a night nice sky up there? Yes, it's very atmospheric is the actual word. Atmospheric. I love Nightmare on Franklin Street. It's my favorite time here at the Tampa Theater. Lots of horror movies coming up in the next couple weeks. Looks like Baby's here getting a little popcorn. Backdrop of the Tampa Theater. We have to redo the intro. No. Maybe, maybe we'll do the outro here. I don't know. But they're letting people in the theater. Let's go explore it. Come on, guys. Watch your heads. Can we get our spot? Do we have assigned seats? Oh, uh, I don't think we have assigned seats. Tampa Theater. Are you gonna grab us a seat? We should sit. We should sit in the lower balcony. While we're waiting for the theater to fill up, I'm excited. It's Rocky Horror time. There's the upper balcony. If you do want a more detailed history of the Tampa Theater, I did come last year here for a marathon, a Nightmare on Elm Street marathon. This is the actual where the organ comes up out of the stage. This little box here. And originally, this used to be the organ orchestra pit for the silent movies they used to play here, right here. Little box, now it's the stage where they have, obviously they have concerts and comedians come there. Jay and Silent Bob is gonna be here in November. Oh screening Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Nice. Okay, I've been to the Tampa Theater many a times, but I've never actually done this, and I can't believe I am. I'll be quick, but I'm showing the, the antiquity of the porcelain here. The urinals, original, 1926, isn't it cool? Even the tile, okay. If that's inappropriate, I apologize. And by the way, we came to the restrooms and it is actually in the basement of Tampa Theater. There's not too many basements in Florida. Tampa Theater has a basement in downtown Tampa, not far off of Tampa Bay even. But since 1926, since this thing was built, it survived a lot of storms. And it is safe to say that this basement has never been flooded, thankfully, thankfully. The smell of fresh popcorn. I could eat popcorn for dinner. Actually, I eat popcorn for dinner a lot of times because I go straight home from work. I get a shower, I go to the theater, and I don't have time to eat, so it's a buttery popcorn dinner. Oh, creepy. I love the goth in here, the Art Deco. Little information table over here. There's the spooky empire. 
Oh, I can't wait for that. Alice Cooper is going to be there. And the cast from my favorite Friday the 13th movie, <laughs> Jason Lives. So they were saying there was about eight to 900 people here for the seven o'clock screening. So we have selected our seats and we have popcorn. Are you ready to Rocky? I am. <laughs> I got Coke to stay awake yep. and popcorn to munch it, on. It is midnight, folks. Yeah. Midnight in Tampa at the Tampa Theater. Just watching the Rocky World Picture Show. I can't think of a, any better way to spend a Saturday night. I just dropped away popcorn. Oh. <gasps> Whoops. We've got the playbill or dark bill for the Rocky Horror. This is really cool. Sponsors are Voodoo Ranger and uh, JJ Taylor Distributing. Also, for our promotional sponsors, we've got Spooky Empire and WDU PBS. We have got a wonderful shadow cast for you guys. Very professional. We, they did the earlier show tonight and they were mind blowing. They're fantastic, so you guys are in for a treat. We also have a very special guest with us tonight, and I think you know who that is. Yeah. Barry Busley! Yeah. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, um, uh, what is this holiday? Oh, it's Halloween, right? Yeah. I feel right at home with all of uh, you freaks out here. No friends. You're, you're my friends. I'm sorry. Are there any uh, are there any wild and untamed things here tonight? Um, and, uh, 
Well, I, I, that, I, that, that song has come to mean something very special to me because it is sort of, it's, I, to me it's the theme of what, of, of what the whole movie is about. And it's up to you guys to keep that light lit at Frankenstein's place for another 44 years. It's a light, I know really, it's a light of, of self-acceptance, it's a light of tolerance. We're all very proud of this movie and, and what, it's, what it says and what it does and, and, and how a lot of the, the, the shadow cast, like this shadow cast, have responded to it over the years and how I think it's changed a lot of people's lives. I, I, I'm here as a representative, I think, of, the, of this, uh, the whole cast, the original cast, who love this movie and, and have been behind this movie all these years and because of how it's affected you and how it's just simply entertained you and how you have stuck with this and how the, the, the shadow cast have stuck with this all these years and it's, it's, now for those of you under the 18, this is not a Disney movie. <laughs> That this, it, it, and, it's, and it's not a Fox reboot. <laughs> Did you guys like that, that Fox? No! no it's terrible. Oh, come on, somebody must have liked it. It's terrible. Right? What does it spell? Let there be less.
Tush and Zelda Reyna. Dr. Scott is Gray Bigler. Rocky is Jack Williams. Ricardo Gordet. Eddie is Sweeney. Free was played by Christy Smithwick. Props by Josh Cagle and Elena Yost. Deck, light, and lights by Derek and Matt. And director Heather Montez. And what you didn't hear was Usher by Devin Haas and Frank by Jack Castle and Devin Haas. Let's hear from Barry Bostwick. And let's hear from the Tampa Theater. Yeah. Hey guys, that was awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. I had a really good time. Thank you. I will, thank you. Bye. Bye. Halloween is just around the corner. A nightmare on Franklin Street continues. I watched this on Halloween last year here and it's playing again every year at the Tampa Theater. Well, Christina, out of all the Rocky Horrors you've ever seen, what do you think about that one? It's pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Uh, it was good. I mean, that was like, like I said before, that was yeah. the first, like, really good experience I've had. So I told, I told, Jay, I had so much fun in there. If, if people had seen the movie before, they would be really mad because you couldn't hear practically yeah. over half of it. See, I've seen the movie a few times, so but that was my first experience. But yeah, you couldn't really hear the movie. And it was nice when people would yell things that were sitting right beside you. Yeah. Otherwise, I was like, what did they say? What did they say? Because it's been so long since I've been right, to a production yeah. like that. I forget what you're supposed to yell. So Yeah, and a lot of, I laughed a lot. Yeah. There was a lot of hilarious stuff said in there. I can imagine, if you've ever been to Rocky Horror, you know exactly what we just went through. And it was a good time. Well, guys, unfortunately, this is going to be the end of it. If it was your first time here and you'd like to come back, I would love to have you. Please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because you never know where I'm going to go. And wherever I go, I'm taking you with me. As I always say, it wouldn't be the same without you. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next video. There's much ahead, my friends. Love all and love always. Gosh, isn't she majestic? I love just coming down here and just... Sometimes I, I don't even go inside, I just walk by, look up, see the marquee. The Tampa Theater, ladies and gentlemen. We've been here before. It wasn't the first time and it won't be the last time. Okay, I'm rambling now. Gotta end this video. Thank you so much and thank you so much, Christina, for joining me again. Can't wait to the next adventure. Okay, I'm ending it. Bye-bye. See ya. Here goes my hand. See? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.